Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory with Neanderthal MC. Today we will be tackling a couple of the quests out of our book. One of them being the Manulian, Manulin, however you want to pronounce it, uh, the purple stuff. Man, let's see how it's outspelled. Manulin, Manulin, that's how I'd pronounce it. Manulin, not Manulian as some people say. I'd say Manulin. Uh, yeah, so today we will be using this, uh, well, we will be trying to make this manual and stuff, which is crafted by uh, a mixture of cobalt and ardite. And the only two ways I know how to get this stuff is to sift. Well, here's 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 a machine I made. I'll, I'll walk you through it, and then I'll show you how it works. Uh, so in this chest, I have manually put in uh, a lot of nether essence, and I get nether essence from growing nether seeds, uh, which I made a long, long time ago. And what you can do with these nether essences is make nether quartz, nether wart, nether brick, nether rack, and soul sand. And the soul sand is what we are making. Uh, and the uses for soul sand are smelting into soul glass, um, making this slime block, dirt block, slime soil, dirt dot name thing. I don't know what that is. I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, I think you can only make another star with it in peaceful. Uh, but the main thing we want to do with it, uh, oh, you can do, you can make another brick with it, but we have a recipe for another brick too. Um, but what we really want to do is this right here. Uh, and what this sifting it gives us is extra quartz, um, nether wart, thorn vines, these these berry bushes, uh, the gas tier, the mushrooms, and these saplings. But what we really, really want are these two right here, crushed iodide and crushed cobalt, which I've shown you in the last episode. You make four of them into a square, and it gives you the dust, which you can use to smelt into... Actually, you can break it into 100% chance of four with a little bit of a chance for extra. Uh, and so we might do that too, but uh, right now we're just smelting it into we're going to be smelting it into cobalt, which we mix in in our tinker's construct thing up top into manulin, and we can make our full set of manulin tools, which is the quest. But right now uh, I'm just letting this go, and look, we already have some ardite, uh, one fourth of a piece. Oh, and a skyberry. I think that's a new berry we have. Uh, let me grab another rack. Actually. Berry. Yeah, that is a new one. Okay, well, we're not really growing them right now, so I'm just going to let it let it sit in there, but that's kind of cool. We have all four types of berry bushes now, these uh, Natura berry bushes. Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run for a long time, uh, and it should run for a while. So I have this nether essence going into a pipe, going into a liquid crafter, crafting it into soul sand. The soul sand is being outputted into the autonomous activator which is being sifted, and then the siftings are going to the vacuum hopper, which are going to the chest. So we're gonna have a chest full of goodies here pretty soon. Um, other things I've done is I have gone to the nether and farmed wither skeletons for one very specific reason. Uh, well, not one very specific reason, lots of different reasons. One of them being I wanted skulls, obviously, uh, and I farmed four skulls, which allowed me to... Oh, they make little noises when you break them. Uh, I got four skulls, which allowed me to make the skeleton, wither skeleton soul crops, which gave you the skeleton essence, which you can make the skulls with, which of course you can make uh, nether star generators uh, and more wither skeleton skulls. Also, you can make uh, player heads if you mix a computer and a wither skeleton. Um, yeah, not really sure about that. Uh, also, firework stars, stuff like that. Um, but what we really want to use them for is making the wither because nether stars can be used for lots of stuff like beacons and a chunk loader. And yeah, so nether stars also fuel for um, those uh, that generator that I showed you. So that that'll be a useful thing. Um, but also. The wither boss uh, comes into a lot of the quests there. I think we have to kill like, t it's like there's like ten quests that have to do with the wither boss. Uh, some of them are just kill the wither boss in all the different dimensions. <laughs> it's that water walking noise. Uh, there's ones of just killing the wither, 
There's ones of killing the wither in all the dimensions. There's ones of killing the wither and the ender dragon at the same time. And there's all kinds of different ones. So we got to get lots of nether, or we got to get lots of wither skeleton skulls. And right now I have I have a farm for them, so it's really really easy. And also I farmed some I farmed four gas tiers, which allowed me to make the gas crops, or the gas essence, which again can be used to make gas tiers or experience. Uh, but I've used them to make. I think I've made like 20 or so gas tiers already, and those are very helpful in making, um, essential actually, in making these safari nets, which are pretty basic. A gas tier and four ender pearls gives you a safari net reusable. And so what this is very useful for is I can go up to a sheep and click it, and it says a sheep in there, and I can come out here and click sheep, and it doesn't disappear. I can keep teleporting the sh well transporting the sheep anywhere I want to so that's very useful also these things are used in um, auto spawners uh, and if we ever want to get into that I made a couple let's see yeah I made five um, so let me show you how these work um, yeah so the basic setup is you have uh, auto spawner how do you get out you must have spawned out here didn't you all right, so anyways, you have an uh, auto spawner, uh, and there's a little spot here for a safari net, as you can see. So you put that in there. Well, I can't right now because there's no power, I think. But um, if this is filled with something called mob essence, and I'll show you that. Mob essence. Apparently, you can't. There's no recipe for it, apparently. Um, but anyways, uh, you have to kill mobs. Actually, you can turn... Uh, liquid XP into mob essence and then when you you pipe the mob essence into the auto spawner and you have the safari net in there oh it, it doesn't work because it doesn't have a mob in it duh oh I swear guys somebody calls my house every time I record um, <laughs> so anyways I it didn't work because I didn't have a sheep in it if I have a sheep in it there it goes so now I have sheep in here it, it tells you the details sheep health eight uh, wool white and it's it's in there and so if I if I supply power to this and mob essence it will act like a monster spawner and randomly well not randomly but once once the work cooldown cools down it will spawn a certain amount in an area and that will just keep going uh, and then you can you know set up a grinder next to him I, I've showed you this uh, if you're a real faithful fan of mine why aren't those stacking it's the same item come on Oh well, uh, if you're a real faithful fan of me, you've watched my uh, Attack of the B-Team series, which was a long, long time ago. Uh, I was really sad to discontinue that. I, I just got really disheartened by the, the the bugs in it that made me lose a lot, a lot, a lot of work that I did. Um, but anyways, this is the replacement really for that. Um, so yeah, we're doing it now. We're going to make our big machine. Uh, and this has something to do with it. If you remember, my, my actually, my most popular episode I have, it has, uh, I think it's approaching 90 views. Uh, I know that sounds pathetic, um, but for me, that's pretty cool. Most of my videos have less than 10 views on them. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's my most popular uh, video, uh, is the one right? I showed you my, my big machines, that's what I called the episode. I showed you my my uh, big machine that converted liquid XP into mob essence and then I could the mob essence was hooked up to um, an auto spawner that's what I was just showing you it was hooked up to an auto spawner uh, and so I guess I, I'm not gonna show you that again because it's really boring uh, to make uh, I'm probably gonna do it up here because it is kind of a cool machine maybe I'll make a building for it separately uh, but I do kind of want them to do the same setup as the one I had in Attack of the B-Team, just kind of as a throwback since it's a popular build of mine. Um, but for right now, we're going to do some quests. And I think I've checked off a couple of them. Did I? Maybe I didn't. I did. I, I turned pink into power. That was last time. Uh, that's done. Uh, and I want to ask you guys, uh, is making a slime farm... I have this, this uh, mob farm up here. Uh, and it does not spawn slimes, but it does spawn these choo-choos, or these chews, whatever they're called. Uh, and I can use these this chew jelly to make slime. And so is the slime farm to make slime balls, or is the slime farm to kill the mob titled slime? Um, I'll ask for your opinion, because in my mind, I have a slime farm. I have infinite slimes, if I let this run forever. Um, 
So I think I have a slime farm. But if you guys want me to make a farm where the mob called a slime is killed, because I, I know there's a swamp biome over in my mob killing arena over there because there's slimes that spawn in there. So I could easily set up a farm over there, but I don't want to if you're okay with the chew farm. Um, but anyways, we'll skip that one for now. Uh, an ink farm, this obviously didn't work, so I'm gonna I'm gonna look up something else because that that's not working right there. I might just tear this whole thing out. It looks it, it doesn't look the part of the area around here. Um, so anyways, uh, not that right now. Slime farm again. Build a proper house. That does not count as a house. I will do it eventually. Not what I want to do today. Transmit power wirelessly. Now I, the only way I know in my mind right now is a tesseract. And I think there are, let's see, I need a frame. Yeah, there's only one way to make this guy, and it's very, very complicated. Yeah, endurium and hardened glass. Or what was the other option? Fused quartz. Oh, that's easy. How do you make hardened glass, though? Not, that was fused quartz. Hardened glass, oh, yeah. Um, so what was that? Machine, alloy smelter. Let's let's see if we can make a test rack. A couple test racks today, so... Alloy smelter, that looks it, yep. Uh, so basic capacitor is just copper, redstone, and gold. All right, easy. Copper, let's just make a bunch. All right, I think it was like this. Oh, no. No, it was just one copper. That's right, one copper in the middle. Um, and then it was redstone on the sides yep and this and then oh good that's gold gold right there and there all right and we need two of them so let's grab two and then let's see uses that gives us the alloy smell oh it's a photovoltaic cell that's weird um no alloy smelter is this this was it right yeah so i need a machine chassis uh so iron bars and iron ingots easy enough Iron bars and iron ingots. All right, and and a furnace and some nether brick. Okay, that's easy. I have that stuff. Furnace brick. There we go. And alloy smelter. And I'm assuming I can just hook this up. Let's just uh. Uh, let's put it right here. I should get power. Yep, it is. All right, and now we just grab some quartz. Very simple this is. Uh, and I'll just throw it in there. And that should give me some, what is it? Fused quartz. Yeah, that's what it is right there. And I'll put a torch down because I think I need it. Let's see. Yeah, I do need it. Okay, now we're good. So while that's going, we needed what was it? Uh, I think it was endurium. Yeah, I know I know how to make that. So we need liquefied ender um, or endurium. Yeah, resonant ender. So that is made by smelting ender pearls. Is that the only way? Liquefied ender and endurium are different. Hmm. Can I seriously just melt ender pearls and get it? Okay, I'm doing that. Uh, so let's let's do this. Um, ender essence, I have tons of. So let's just get a bunch and head on over to the the old alloy smelter, which is all the way at the back. I don't know why I put it all the way back here. Oh, and it's full of iron and gold. Of course it is. So uh, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time off camera. Um, oh crap, that wasn't supposed to happen. You are supposed to be here. My pick is too good. Uh, so I'm gonna spend some time emptying out my smeltery of all the iron and gold, uh, and then filling it with ender pearls too. So I will be back in just a little bit. All right, so one thing before I show you the last thing I was going to show you uh, is I was going to check on the progress of our sifting, our soul sand sifting here, our SSS. Uh, so we got tons of nether essence still to go. There's tons of it backed up in here. It's not going super fast because it is going as fast as this clicker will go. Uh, and they are all right clicking. So this is going as fast as it can. 
Um, but anyways, uh, this diamond chest contains what we've gotten throughout. Oh, gas tears. I didn't... I forgot it gives you gas tears. I didn't need to farm them after all. Alright, so what we're looking for here is the Ardite and the Cobalt. And we have gotten a lot more than I thought we would have gotten, which is... It's happy to me. It's happy to me. It makes me happy. Uh, also, we've gotten tons of saplings, which are very interesting. Uh, I, I'm going to make a tree farm in the nether pretty soon, because uh, these dark wood and the uh, ghost wood are pretty cool wood. Actually, mostly the ghost wood. I like the ghost wood. Uh, also, the blood saplings, uh, useful to have. Some of the, some tools are kind of cool to make with the, the wood of that. Also, these fuse wood. Uh, if you plant these... Um, in the nether. I think they're only plantable in the nether, but um, if I type in uh, fuse in here, fuse wood, yeah, it makes a kind of a cool bluish, greenish uh, wood. Um, you don't really make anything special with it other than you can make some tools, um, but it does add a unique color to stuff. Uh, but when you chop it down, it makes an explosion happen, so it's kind of dangerous. But anyways, uh, let's get on to the last thing. All right, so uh, it turns out uh, the type of ender endurium bucket that I was getting from this over here was the wrong kind. Uh, there are two types, so let's just look at them up. Look them up. Bucket. Uh, so this is the type I wanted, resident ender bucket. Um, the type I was getting was this right here, liquefied ender bucket, and this... Uh, is made by what I showed you that, um, but it is used for um, only making end stone, end stone, and these blocks, which can be used for nothing. Um, so the type I wanted is this stuff, uh, which you get by making, or you, you you get yeah you get by combining tin powder and pulverized shiny metal, which is also platinum, and then a bucket of this stuff, and that'll get you the endurium blend that you need. And this is made by in a magma crucible, same stuff, but it's just not not in a Tinker's Construct Furnace. I had to actually use a magma crucible. Uh, and so I have two Tesseracts now, and these weren't too terrible to make. It's just uh, some some bronze and some silver, and the bronze is easy. It's just tin and copper, and the silver is just silver uh, around a Tesseract frame, which is full, and you fill one in a Tesseract frame uh, with more resident ender. And you make the tesseract frame by combining endurium ingots and that fused quartz and a diamond. And the endurium ingots, ingots I showed you already is this endurium blend uh, in an induction smelter combined with pyrothium dust, which is simply coal, do coal powder, sulfur, blaze powder, and redstone. And you get coal powder by uh, pulverizing coal, and you get sulfur by pulverizing uh, coal or blaze rods. I use blaze rods because it's 50% chance of getting it. I also pulverized some coal and got a little bit extra. So that's how you do that. And I made two of them. So we can transmit power wirelessly, which is the quest here. And so what we're going to try to do is we're going to make two... Actually, here, let's just do this. Uh, I have my pink generator. I just made some pink dye to try charging up this energy cell a little bit. Uh, and so if I type in energy... Hmm. That's not what I want. Let's type in cell. Oop, not E cell. Cell. Let's make a simple leadstone energy cell. So that is redstone and lead and glass. Redstone block. Glass. I think the glass was on the top and the sides. And then lead. Gled. Not gled lead there we go yep all right so we got that uh, and I don't think I need to do anything with that to make it useful is it a frame is it just a frame please tell me it's not just a frame it is a frame okay uh, so do, do I need to fill it oh no I just need to add a redstone conductance coil do I have any of those conductance I do I have one <laughs> awesome so that's that and I think it was copper on the top and the sides, yes it is. So we got a leadstone energy cell, which is just another battery. Uh, this guy I think is just this, plus a little bit of invar. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one there, and we're gonna put one there. And so what I'm gonna try to do is uh, turn the pink into power, and that will power this leadstone energy cell. 
which should put power into this tesseract. And then what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to charge this tesseract here uh, wirelessly through these tesseracts, or not this tesseract, this this battery, this energy cell wirelessly. Uh, and so what we're going to do is let's turn it so it's facing us. Uh, we're going to try to go in here and we're going to do let's let's name our thing one two three. That will be our channel. Um, let's try, just let's just name it. Uh, let's see. Let's call it pink power. All right. Pink power. Set frequency. And come over here. We do one two three. Pink power. Done. And this guy should be on input. Uh, yeah, he's on input all the way around. And this needs to be on output on the right. Is that how it is? Yeah, it's on output. And this is on, this was on input, I think. Wait, yeah, that's on input. Okay. Um... Oh, here we go. Uh, let's do ignore redstone, ignore redstone, and it needs to be send receive, send receive. Uh, actually, let's just do fluid mode blocked, energy mode send receive, and item mode blocked. Same here. Uh, blocked, that is item, and fluid is blocked, and this is send receive. This should be filling up, and it is, yes. So so there's a little bit of settings you have to mess with, uh, and owner is only for public servers. I don't need to mess with that because uh, I'm the only one here, so nobody can access my test racks, basically. Uh, so you have to change the redstone to ignored, and you have to change the configuration. Uh, you can transport items, fluids, and energy through these test racks, and I want just to do energy for now. Uh, and so this is working. Uh, I have the energy from the pink generator going into the hardened energy cell, and from the ener uh, from the hardened energy cell, I have it going into the tesseract network, and then from that wireless network up in the up in the clouds. That's where it is. That's where I store it up on that cloud right there. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it comes down into this uh, energy cell, and then out into the leadstone energy cell. This is a tesseract. It comes in the tesseract from the other tesseract into the leadstone energy cell and we are charging wirelessly so transmit power wirelessly checked off the list awesome uh, next thing I have on here is use a turtle to automate something and what I've done is I've made a turtle I made a crafty turtle and I have no idea how to use it um, <laughs> the turtle is is really easy to make and then it comes up with this and this scares the crap out of me uh, I tried doing something as simple as um, sticks uh, so I, I typed in, just to try my luck, I typed in craft stick. And it says craft 18 expected number, and I don't know. So I put this, I put the wood in here, and I put, I put, I type in 1, and it said no such program. I typed in 4, no such program, you know, stick, no such program, craft stick. I don't know what it, what it wants me to do, 64. Uh, yeah, see, I don't know. So I'm um, just going to leave that there for now. I'm doing a little bit of turtle research. Uh, but anyways, let's move on for now. Uh, use a transition plane to farm something. See, I don't know what that is, so let's look that up. Transition plane. Fluid transition plane. Dimensional transceiver. No. Emmy transition plane. Is that what we want? I think it is. So ME transition plane, uh, conversion matrix. I think I have enough stuff for that. Do I have a basic processor? I do. Awesome. So it was a basic processor. Um, plane, uh, Fluix, Certus, Quartz. F Fluix, Dust, there and there. Let's type in Quartz. One of you, and then one of you, and then the rest was iron. Oops. There we go. Uh, did I have any of these? Hold on. <laughs> if I'm gonna have, if I had one of these, I'm gonna be a little upset. Matrix. I did. I had eight. Dang it. Okay. Whatever. Uh, which one was it? 
this guy. Transitional plane, so iron and then a cable and more fluix dust. So fluix dust on the top, cable on the bottom, and iron. There we go. And we have an ME transition plane. Now, what the heck does this thing do? I'm assuming I need more cable. Um, let's go down to the basement. Let's see what this guy does. Let's let's set it up in front of these guys. See if it does anything. I can't click on it. Um, let's just try hooking it up to our system because it is ME, so I know it has to have ME connectivity somehow. Oop, I didn't need to go that high. All right, so it's in the network now. Um, still not able to access it. Uh, so I guess I'll be doing a little even more research on that. So we'll be doing research on uh, turtles and transition planes because it says it says use a transition plane to harvest something or to farm something. So maybe I don't know. I don't know what that does. Um, but here, create a pigment-based gold farm. This is something I can do. I need to make. Actually, let's just check, see if I have one. Harv, I do not have a Harv. Harvester. Golden Axe, Factory, and Shears. So, Gold Axe, for some reason I have tons of them. Uh, shears, for some reason I have tons of them. All right, not gonna argue. Oh, it's some crushed cobalt. That was there from a long time ago, I think. Uh, what was it? I need a machine frame and plastic harvester let's make a couple just just to have on hand seven that sounds good all right so and I need some uh, glass and let's grab a chisel because I don't like vanilla glass at all chisel and let's pick a simple Let's do this stone frame glass. So over here, I'm gonna set up a monster spawner area, uh, and we're gonna spawn pigment in it. So right in the middle here, I need to grab my auto spawner. This is that machine I was telling you about um, that I said I wouldn't build on camera, but I'm gonna start it just to show you. What? Oh, it must be in my bag. It is. All right. So the auto spawner. Uh, I said I wasn't going to build it, but I'm going to show you how to build it, at least, to begin with. Um, so right in the middle, let's put it there. Let's give it plenty of room on either side. Four. And let's see. One, two, three, four. So let's put it there. One, two, three, four. Just give it plenty of room. I'm not sure how big the range on these guys are on this guy is because it's one singular I'm good at English there's no range upgrades for it uh, and so I think it'll only spawn in the range of a normal spawner which I think is four by four so that's what I'm doing I, this is just my guess so one two three four there we go and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the builders wand to build this up probably have to chisel some more glass um, but yeah I need to hook up below this I'm gonna hook up uh, well I'm gonna tear out these these uh barrels here, whatever they're called. Yeah, stone barrels. I'm going to hook up some pipes with my experience here. I'm going to probably set up another harvester for those essence berries, which can be turned into experience uh, with an auto clicker, you know, just a autonomous activator. Um, but anyways, I will set up that and I will use the mob. Uh, I will use a pigment as the mob and that will be my gold based pigment farm. So that will be checked off the list for next time. So for next time, I'm going to maybe make some plans for the house not really into it um, research the ink farm the turtle the transition plane and I will build the pigmen spawner and you know what I might not build it up here yeah I probably won't build it up here that's gonna be a loud and annoying and ugly sight to see so I'll, I'll build the the spawner room downstairs but I'll build the tanks up here so I'll flip what I said I was gonna do um, so anyways thank you all for watching I will see you in the next episode bye bye